everyone predicted Na'Vi to win, and that started out looking like an incredible bet, but now, I don't know, it's a little bit up in the air. We'll see what's going to happen. Blame Earth has been one of the superstars so far of this complexity lineup, and he's out in the middle with no one to fight, and it looks like this could be a very, very quick hit towards the B bomb side. Rush and Config are going to be the early responders in this one. A bit of a jump. Oh, underhand throw. Grenade right on top. That's a huge grenade, but no kills yet. Config finally picking up the one there, and he's almost running out of bullets. This is so dangerous. Blame it has shown up to try and save the day yet again, and he's going to get the one kill at least, but Oppo falls, and now Blame is on the flank, and Poison is in the market. Yep, bombs being planted right now. Config had just rotated away. That's an awkward timing for him to come back into the fight. Blame F on the flank. Flamey loses track of it, and he's what? picked off a second. Blame F, a triple kill so far in the round, and it's all on simple. Bomb is planted perfectly for him. And he has a P250. This is absolutely doable. He's going to fire the gun, so now they know exactly where he is. Tapping the bomb a single time, but it's a long, long, long defuse with that 10 seconds. It's Poison that has the kit, and Blame If will do it. A quad kill, and with the kit, they're going to be able to win the round. What a great round out of Blame If. Man, that's one of the rare times I think you'll see simple, I don't even know if I want to call it a mistake, but maybe a misplay of that of that one versus two. He was so convinced that there was a possibility that bomb was being diffused in a position where he couldn't see it, not trusting the plant spot, and that's why he overextended at the end. That's what made him such a nice target for Blame F, but what a round for Blame F, pushing Catwalk and going for the flank. Quad kill right out of the gates, and it's one to nothing for complexity. That is going to give them a pretty good start. With the bomb plant, they're only going to have the one AK-47 because I guess they just didn't uh, get enough kills on the rest to try and pick it up. Or maybe they're just... The pistols also only armor on simple, so this is sort of the, the one-man army type play. Well, if you're going to give it to anybody, might as well be simple. He's walking up a ramp for contacts. Smoke off towards halls, and Oboe is never spotted, which makes simple, easy picking. There's the AK-47, there's the armor, and Config was able to find Boomage at pretty much the same time, and now goes Flamey. It's gonna be two to nothing for, for complexity. Yeah, with a free AK-47 in the mix if they want it, which I'm sure they will, there's Oboe picking it right up, so that is... They can't get any better than that. You don't lose anyone, you get a couple of kills with the Famasas, you pick up an AK-47. Now it's going to be the rest of Na'Vi buying, with uh, Simple obviously having a bit less. Or maybe they'll throw something over to him and it'll be uh, Boomich taking the, uh, the hit for it. it. Looks like that uh, is what's going to happen here. Anyway, 2 and 0 oh in favor of Complexity. Molotov out towards top mid, and... Navi's gonna battle, but very patient to start with at the very least. One thing we've seen, ooh, hold the thought, Config with an off angle is gonna back away. One thing we've seen with Navi, or at least I, I've seen a number of times with Navi on this map, especially on their T side, I, I frequently feel like I see them run out of utility, like, you know, 45 seconds to a minute within the round, you'll see them with very few smokes to actually utilize. They've got two left at the moment, but but keep your eyes on that in the future, because there's there's a few rounds we'll see where they just don't have the resources to make progress into the sites. Wow. MP9 up close. Big win there for Rush, and Config is right behind. They don't really sense that anyone else is behind, but... But they're gonna leave Grush here. This is so smart, he's actually moving forward to check over at the hallways. And that means they can start to gravitate towards this A-bomb site. They're gonna know what's coming. Rush is so far pushed up, they should have a pretty good defense here. Obo inside of the site. And Blame F, could he cause a distraction? Enough for Obo to go for it. There's the shots coming out. And now, Poison even showing up with a headshot taking down Boomich. It's all falling apart here. Not a single kill again here for Na'Vi. And that is so much money now in the bank of complexity. Yeah, things are, I mean, uh, I want to say looking good, but it's only three rounds in. At least a great start. AWP on poison. I think the scariest part, uh, if you're Navi, is one kill per round is what they're averaging so far in this game. It's only Perfecto Simple Electronic with one frag each. So the, the fragging lows continue from Dust 2, where they equally started out very slow and really struggled to get on the board with any kind of individual effort. Deagles are out. 
The next gun round is going to be very critical. I really like this aggressive uh, defense in the middle, even if they haven't had many fights behind it. I just think it sends off a good message early on here. And they don't overextend it either. They run up to top mid as a little group, and then, you know, they don't find anyone. They don't press the issue. They sort of fall back and leave it alone. A little bit of a peek there. And maybe a little bit of danger, too. Obo definitely hearing that deagle. I like this, though. This is... This is cautious from complexity in a round like this. They do have three players ready to collapse. Actually, make that four. Two players on catwalk, one in the window, and Blame F... Oh! Oboe gets caught by the boost. Blame F pounces from Connector. He's gonna go down eventually, but he's got a teammate on catwalk to help out. Yeah, Config gonna get one more kill. If Rush could get this one, he'd probably reset the danger in the round just like that. Simple. Has still just got the Deagle. And he's quite far back with the bomb at 35 seconds. So, I don't know if Flamey, yeah, even if, especially against the AWP, but even if not, would have had a very low health to try and create an opening. I don't know if that's what Symbol was waiting for. Maybe he was waiting for a flank that's never going to come. So, he's in the middle now. And I think with the 22 seconds, it's not really feasible for him to do a lot here. Rush could be back in the window in a second. And if he walks the whole way, he just might run out of time. Config's going to spot him out. And that's the end of the round. Four and oh, and they lose three players in this round, but... I don't know, there was a moment there where it was looking a bit worse, so I guess a pretty good recovery for complexity. Yeah, a really nice recovery. As soon as this kill goes down on the one in connector, yeah, it feels like there's a highway open into that A-bomb site where Poison was alone with the AWP. So good recovery from complexity, but uh, you gotta be worried now about Navi. It's it's crazy how this story can change when you go back to Nuke now with the context of Dust2 and now this start on Mirage. The clutches and the fragging of Simple on Nuke just bailing them out of so many spots. Otherwise, this has been, I mean, outside of that, this has been a pretty great series that Complexity's putting together. Yeah, they, they really seem to have sort of mentally recovered themselves. Uh, we were doing a, a lot of criticism of OG yesterday, but it's something we really didn't see a lot out of OG. Once, once they went spiraling down, it seemed like they never really came up again. Complexity got badly beat up on the first map and had, a, had some rough runs on Dust2, but mentally looking quite strong here, continuing to fight. That's actually a shot on Flamey. That connects with him and the grenade, I mean, it put him on one health. Obo being a solid anchor on this A-bomb site. I, I hate this style that Navi's bringing out in a, in a map where they're not getting kills. Ooh, there's a gun barrel showing. Now he sees it. That's easy for Obo. And he even catches the AK on the drop. Get yourself one more, because you're styling like it's a movie. Obo is an absolute beast. Triple kill and the round. And it's going to be five to nothing. Navi haven't even done damage in this round. Yeah, they are really are just showing up one at a time, aren't they? Like, it's all very, very timid. This is not the kind of counter strike you expect to see out of Navi. I know we make jokes about them being slow and everything, but usually they can they can get into the fights once they actually get going. Wow. Flawless victory. It's not even about speed or pacing in my mind. It's just like a lack of like conviction. Like Navi doesn't actually look like they want to take those fights. And in a game, in a round where you're coming into it, four rounds in, you have your first buy round. You've got zero kills on Flamey, and he's just dry challenging up a ramp looking for a fight. But he hasn't won a single fight in this whole game. Like no one is Navi doesn't have any success to go off of so far. Two kills on Perfecto. Two kills on Simple. One. On electronic, Flamey and Boomich are at zero. Yeah, something has got to change right now for Navi. This is kind of an incredible uh, beginning to the whole thing. Config will take down Boomich. There's the Tech Nine return in the B bomb side, and he was the only one there. So once Rush goes down, it's a free bomb plant, but it won't be easy to hold this. Four on four for the retake. They have that AK-47 and a couple of flashbangs that they've picked up in the meantime. Poison will take down Simple, so that's a pretty good start to the retake. Man lead now, and Config and Blame if are going to be coming in from Catwalk. Poison and Oboe on the other side, and all the way back at the benches. Nice shot from Electronic. I actually thought he was in trouble, but I guess not. Oh, he's need to flex a little bit more. That AK, that's a dangerous peak. Poison clips him. 
Still, no progress up Catwalk. It's Obo to start things off, but the Tech-9 is in response, and there's Flamey as well. The Bomb Plant, Poison had a chance. The reload is coming in, Flamey. Shoulder peaks, now he's committed and he's got it. First round on the board for Navi. He's gonna go down with the explosion. That is a bit of an unlikely round for them to be winning. And, I mean, it's not every day you're gonna get around like that either where one kill on the B-bomb side will give you the bomb plant with, with no one else there, so... That's a bit of a shame, uh, even if, uh, even if they've been looking good here. Now, they have had like three rounds of complexity where they've had five people alive, so they have the money to lose a round. Yeah, I mean, they have money to lose this one as well, but they do invest in an expensive double op setup. That's one thing we can keep our eyes on later on. We've seen Config push up Catwalk and mid in this game so far. He's the support player at the B bomb site. So keep an eye, if he's the one being aggressive in middle, Rush is gonna be left alone. And if Navi's aware of that, I think we'll start seeing more of those really aggressive hits off of Config's contact in mid. Well, with the double up, they've really switched it up. Now, Config's the one peering deep into the yes. B hallway with Rush in the middle, so... That was a nice grenade. Keeping things delayed in mid for as long as possible. A lot of utility being used and an opening kill for Rush. Config has that deep angle now, which is going to allow Rush to cheat over towards the other side of the map. He can actually just leave market entirely. Yeah. Config is safe from Catwalk, and that's a peak that didn't need to happen. Now, Poison's in a tough position. And remember, he's exposed as well to Palace. He's got to be very careful. That's going to force him to sink back. Under 40 seconds as they start to make their way towards the A-bomb site, which they're clearly going to go for. They're going to try and boost in through the window. I like this. It does give them another angle of attack against Poison. If he misses one shot on uh, Boomage coming out of the smoke, it's done. He's looking the wrong way. A lot of trouble now. Let's see how much Obo could get done, because he has been amazing in this A-site so far. Rush goes down, and Obo with the first kill. He needs more, though, and Simple will take him out in a second. There's only 10 of them left as well. So if Obo had got one more kill there, that could have been really awkward, but that's a good round from Navi, finally. Yeah, that round looked good. Obviously, the mid-control for quite some time helped out, even losing the first pick. This was a four-on-five victory from Navi. So things are getting better, slowly but surely. A nice pinch on that A-bomb site. And for complexity, I mean, thankfully, Config is staying alive with his armor and his AWP because he's the one with the lowest amount of money. They're going to buy again in the next round. Poison at 3,200, Blame F at 2,500, Russian Obo at 2,000. But that'll be the last investment that they can make. And I think maybe even if Boomich finds Config here at the end, they could be in a tough position, but he's not going to go for it. So second round for Navi. And complexity in some uh, having some money issues. Yeah, finally. It's been a, been a minute. They're still going to be able to put together a buy in the round, but it won't be quite as luxurious as it was earlier. That is a very, very important shot there. Now, I think this next round is where it gets real interesting, because if Navi win this next one, it's three to five, it'll be complexity out of money, good chance to get up to four rounds, and, and at that point, it's it's sort of an open game again. So, let's see if complexity are going to let Navi all the way back in the game, or just let them have a bit of a taste early on of what victory feels like before they take it right back. Or oh, they're ready for this peak, and they really want him to push forward. Oh, dear, he just unscoped. He might have been able to see Rush. There's some smoke in the way, which I think is, is why we didn't see him with any kind of information. Electronic might be ready to bust through it, playing his games, but this is a bait setup for Config and Rush, and they like to do this frequently. Electronic gonna back away. Rush can pounce at any moment. No indication shown that they realize Rush is in this position. And here comes the flashbangs. This is gonna be tough to hold off. Yeah, we'll be, let's see. Rush, not flash so far. Second one jumping right out the window. It's gonna be the one kill and no one's turning for it. Electronic was focused on something oh, else. Oh. That's a miraculous triple kill. All of it with a FAMAS. And simple. Not gonna have any shot of doing this. Not gonna have a shot of escaping either. Blame if it's right behind him. He is being hunted from all angles. It's gonna be Obo as well. Yeah, he's so locked in. <laughs> oh man, no, another flawless round for complexity. That is uh, so many already in the first uh, eight rounds. 
Yeah, I think I think even this blind, that flashbang right there might have actually almost been a benefit to Rush. He was so blind, he didn't even see Electronic jump by initially. Didn't even have a chance to pull the trigger, even if he wanted to, even if he couldn't contain it. What a dominant win for Complexity so far. Yeah, this is four rounds in the half where Complexity has had all five players surviving. Great stuff, really. I mean, back with the double orb. I'm also noticing more fan cams now around Mr. Lake, so there's always that. More people joining in, more people starting to believe. How would it feel, Jason, if, you know, you made that change to Navi and, and then Complexity win? I feel like, you know, we'd all lose the prediction, but I feel like maybe it'd be slightly worse. Uh, no, I'd be fine with it. All right. Here's the thing. It, the, the change of prediction wasn't so much a lack of faith in, in complexity. It was also partially just because, you know, I'm, I'm in the lead. So there's no reason for me to risk it. Oh, I see. All right. Playing the game. That makes sense. Hey, you got to, yeah, playing a, playing a deep game here. You know, if everyone's going to go for Navi, what's, 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 where's the glory in that? There's just no preserve upside. that lead, baby. I'll find a, I'll find a gamble somewhere else. Ooh. That is a very bold play to make against Simple. <laughs> yeah, it really is. But then again, it is Convict. He, you know, he didn't even it. know what day it was in the interview he gave this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's not relevant to him playing Counter Strike, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a classic Navi round. Let me just check the time on my TW Steel watch. Twenty seconds left, and they're just now getting over to A ramp. Yeah, so any hiccup, any mistake, and it'll cost them the round. There's the initial jump out. The Molotov will land behind the bomb planter, but now the bomb is on the ground with it's 10 over. seconds. Round's over. There's the hiccup. There's the speed bump, and you're absolutely right. The round is done. They cannot win it at this point in time. <laughs> oh. It's so stupid. Why is this like a decade of watching this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's also tradition, though. You have to appreciate that, Jason. There, yeah, there is something comforting in that Navi just doesn't change. I, <laughs> like I, yeah, the consistency is. We've got it's like, like a warm a, blanket. We've got a global pandemic. The whole world's gone crazy, but some things do just stay the same. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> you know, it's nice. Nobody can travel. We have to wear masks. But Navi is still executing strategies at 15 seconds in the round. So <laughs> something's going well. Yeah, that's. That's gonna be like a childhood memory for uh, for, you know, for, for all of us, or like an like just we think about it. We think back. We're like, yeah, that was back when, back when Navi still did that, and it's still happening. It's kind of kind of great. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's so frustrating. <laughs> it's play method connector. <laughs> It's it's actually made me a little bit angry. Um, <laughs> seven to two in the favor of complexity. <laughs> it's the fact. Poison. It's just, uh, yeah. It's just the fact that the entire team has been switched out. Like Zeus and Edward and all this people not around anymore. <laughs> it's still happening. They've gotten younger. They brought in Flamey. They brought in Perfecto. They brought I'm in Electronic. You. Over the years, they brought in Boomich, a new in-game leader. I'm telling and then you. They go right back to the old school coach. What it really is, it is the long setup. It's a long con to set up for their own watch sp sponsorship in the future. Like they've, they're just they're playing like a decade-long game, and then they'll be like, "Mate, it's it's time. You've primed it perfectly. Like I don't know what we're waiting for to sign this watch sponsor. Here we go. Good trade from Simple. But again, 30 seconds on the clock, and to start making their way in. Config not peeking yet, and Simple's forced to be the aggressor. And they, oh boy, they, they got plenty of time. They're locked seconds. in. <laughs> I mean, for them, this feels like a lifetime. Yeah, they're like, don't even worry about it. Nobody's making the move, just... Ugh, uh, this is tough. Boomich gonna make his way in with the bomb, and there it is. Round should be over. Simple's gonna cross over, and yeah, he had no chance of picking that bomb up. Eight to two now, with questionable money on the Navi side. Don't know if they would wanna maybe just go for half by here. Some deagles and armor or something like that. An expensive round for Complexity, losing three people, but they get to save the double orb, so I think they are fine with it. And they're also heavily in the lead. This is uh, just looking very cool at the moment. For one of the teams, anyway. 
Yeah, for one for one side of the one side of the coin. Three K on simple and electronic. 2,000 on Perfecto, it's gonna be a save. Not even really a half investment. Perfecto and uh, Boomich have bought pistol and armor. Everyone else just the pistol. But Navi need to close this half out very well. They need to have a dust two like resurgence. They do need that. Um, but I don't doubt, it's not gonna be in this round. Got bombed in the middle. Flamey runs into an AWD. Config playing a bit of a game with Perfecto. He's low on health, does fall back. I was halfway thinking maybe he wouldn't, because... Because it's Config. But he managed to con <laughs> restrain himself. Yeah, despite all the odds. Ooh, they should make like a... Moving into position. Yep. Should make like a little piece of content where... Where they like wheel him into his gaming chair, but he's in like a straight jacket or something, and like they just take it off him and throw him into the chair and just let him play. That's... It's how he arrives oh, yeah. at every tournament. Okay. <laughs> they have to they have to untie the straight jacket yeah. from like a ten foot distance with a pole. They're like, no one get close. Yeah. He's ready. He's locked and loaded. Gotta be careful like he doesn't little... bite you. <laughs> yeah, who's that? The the Ace Ventura two? Oh that's that's a reference that's just not worth diving into, isn't it? Kids these days. <laughs> I like how you bailed on that. Uh, it's so quick. I was just like, nobody's seen that. That movie came out in like 97. Oba wasn't even born yet. There's just no point. <laughs> There's no point. <laughs> oh, man. Nine to two. It's a seven round lead. Oba and Poison have done a very good job over the A bomb site. Now they're playing aggressively forward towards the ramp, which is something they haven't really done yet. They've been much further back with Oba inside of the site and Poison at the CT spawn. So this could catch someone off. Simple is on the other side playing patiently. Oh, and that might be rewarded here. He actually misses the shot, and Oba will take him down. I take it all back. He's not rewarded at all. I just can't believe how scared we're seeing Navi play, and how the inability of them to win fights. Perfecto getting to a new angle. He's finally cleaned out. That's a great flick from Poison, but he's got to look behind him. He's got to look up to Palace. All the pressure from middle is gone. They've eliminated it, and now he's got them zoned in. He misses the shot, but his team is set up for the win, and Boomich with 45 seconds and an AWP is going to do nothing. What a run. 10 to 2 now. Complexity up now, winning five in a row, and... All five rounds, there have been no bomb plants. In one of them, the time ran out. And otherwise, it's been all kills all the way. Top fragger for our Navi right now is simple at seven kills. And that was in 12 rounds. Bottom fragger at uh, Complexity is poison at six. And then it bounces up to Rush at 10. So they're doing so much better on just on every metric right now. It's uh, it's Complexity outperforming Navi in a spectacular fashion, honestly. This is... This is you know, we thought man, maybe there could be an upset, but this is... I mean, the style in which it's happening is in itself upsetting. I knew it would be close, but I mean, if I had... If, if obviously, if you know that the Navi team that's going to enter the server today is just a shadow of what it should be, I think we're seeing more people with confidence in complexity. This is not a good look for Navi. Obo inside the site, gonna find Flamey. He was low HP, but he's got so much things happening around him. And there's Perfecto, some life out of Navi yet. Just a tiny bit, but also I think it may be a couple of mistakes for Complexity. They seem to be get way too panicked to try and retake the site before the bomb is even down. Rush showing up, and the smoke is fading. He's out, and the opening is gonna get the one. Transfers it on, a second kill, and a missed shot from Config. That could have, and I, I don't know. There were some mistakes from Complexity in that round. They almost still win it. 10 to 3. The, the problem is is the trading for the Navi side. I mean, uh, I mean, at, at its most basic level, it is the fragging, which has been a, which has been an issue this whole half. But the amount of double kills that the complexity players are able to get in these situations, Rush should have never gotten two kills there. The fact he's able to do it is is very frightening and sets them up for the win. And Navi's only bailed out by a missed shot. Back to an A, execute, set piece. And at the moment, it's just Oboe at triple boxes. You've got Blame F, aggressive in connector, and Poison with an AWP in window as well. So there's never, a, there's not a better time for this hit than right now. No, and if they wait, look at Rush. He's all the way over at the B kitchen. So they're going to start to bring config back. You're right that the time to go was 10 seconds ago. Every second from here on out, complexity is going to be a little bit closer and a little bit uh, more heavy on that A bomb site. That could be a real issue. 
Initial smokes are up, all the traditional ones to try and put down that wall. A counter Molotov coming out, and also an HE grenade, but it won't really do any damage here. Now, just looking over the smoke, Obo. Great kill once again. He's good for one kill every single round, and sometimes more on this A defense. That's so valuable. He's going to go down afterwards, and a quick bomb plant will at least give a chance for Na'Vi to try and bring in a fourth round here. It's a three on four, though, and Poison, Ooh. that's a big kill to take down Boomich. I might have to take it all back here as they're running out of players. Flamey with the CC. He's going to get one on Poison, and nearly a follow-up. He was out of bullets. Oh, no. He couldn't actually do it, and now he's alone, missing the shot. They're coming for him, and it'll be an 11th round instead for Complexity. What a great retake from Config. That was hectic the whole way through, and Navi could never calm it down. They even preserved the double up setup. Complexity have an eight round lead. I don't know if Poison actually saw him inside the smoke, or if he just got the lineup with the boxes, but between him and Obo, these are some great finds through smoke. It doesn't look like he sees him, right? Maybe he did on his screen. That is... It's not a lot of rounds to go into the second half. Even if they get the last, last one somehow, it's looking really weird. We're not seeing that assertive Na'Vi. The, you know, we talked about the combination of having simple and maybe electronic join him, like the, the duo of those two punching through a bomb site. None of that has really been going on. What you're seeing now is them being tactically lost as well. This is three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back set pieces at the A bomb site, And they just seem everything else has failed, so why not go for it? You're at the last page of the strat book. And they're going to run out of utility. They have no smokes. Both ops are still on the board. Poison with his over towards top connector. Config with his at spawn side. There's, there's nothing to get Navi into this site. Unless Complexity makes a mistake, this should be a Complexity round. A little bit of an opportunity. Again, just pointing out, Ovo did get his mandatory kill, which is still really good. Poison now showing up with the AWP to shut it all down. And Config with the final kill. Tw is a spectacular playing against Na'Vi, and all of us predicted that Na'Vi would take it. Doesn't really feel that way right now. Now, the good news is, Jason, they're on the CT side, Na'Vi, so they cannot run out of time. Yeah, that's something. That's that's something to be happy about, I guess. Uh, it all rides on this push. Ovo, gonna find that kill. Oh, my <laughs> lord. Well, that should be the round. Uh, quickly and violently, and the bomb is being planted, and CT spawn. That's where you'll look for the rest of this round to play out. You, you can see Perfecto with the flashbang. Simple's gonna have to get three kills on his own. They're looking down, they're jumping past, and Poison's dropped him. Config with the follow-up, and 13 to three will be the scoreline. Complexity looking to end this quickly. Yeah, really great focus. I mean, the timing on that as well. Poison actually jumped past the flashbang that was being thrown in to retake that uh, that long corner. So, 13 to 3. And, I mean, now V. Kind of wish we could hear a little bit of team speak from them. I mean, I don't know what we would get from it, maybe with a bit of translation, but this is definitely looking like a very deflated team. One that that isn't really uh, ready to uh, to fight their way back into this game. We haven't seen anything out of them yet that that looks like that's going to be possible no they they look like they didn't even really want to be part of this game from from the start or at least this third map this is uh this is not a good look in any way for navi they are electronics gonna go down bomb sites lost Ooh, there we go there's some kills bomb hunt in a good position though for uh for config unless he's gonna go all the way through which could also be the case it's gonna say it looked like they are suffering from the same kind of mentality that OG were uh, suffering from yesterday. The sort of don't really know what we're gonna do. What's the plan here? And just slowly fading away. Config is a brilliant <laughs> triple kill. Oh my god, he's so accurate. That's an ace on him, by the way. He got the first two kills too. 14 to three. Now we're probably thinking maybe this is our Holy. chance, but it absolutely isn't. He's only died three times, Anders. Config is 23 and 3. No way. You're making that up. Every round that he's died, Navi is won. <laughs> that is that is absolutely wild. We knew he was going to have to show up. Remember, he had that quiet start on Nuke. Dust 2 is okay, but here he is in the third map, and he's he's closing things out for Complexity. What a, what a great performance out of him. 11-round lead for Complexity. He is 
so good, isn't he? Rush will get the return, and Poison will be there with a grenade for Tronic. Another bomb sight. Well defended, here, or is it well taken here by uh, Complexity? Perfecto! Doing a bit of work with the Deagle. Can we get one more in here? Doesn't seem like it. It's now a two on two. And Blame if and Config started to fall back a little bit, see if they could find a safe place to be. Flashbang to set it up. He's picked up the Galil, but that smoke is making it hard to see. And there is a bit of a crossfire with Blame if also helping out. He's going to get the one kill, and Config will stay alive again with no kills, but still 15 to 3. The, this is the juggernaut, isn't it? Yeah, they've, they've hit that momentum. There's no stopping them now. They are just demolishing Na'Vi as they run right through them. And, I mean, that's the kind of round that we were kind of lamenting, wanting to see out of Na'Vi in the first half. It doesn't have to be like a full-on rush like that, but you can tell complexity, like, they're just working as one unit as soon as they decide to actually commit and attack this bomb site. It's just there's no slowing down. There's no stopping. Fire won't phase them, and poison is through the smoke. A clever route wow. that he's running, and he's gonna find Flamey out in the open. Config is gonna help him out, and this map should be all over. Simple has no HP, so you gotta leave it up to Electronic and Boomich. They're in so much trouble. There's a quick bomb plant as well. Molotov on Flamey, oh sorry, on Blamef, and also a flashbang there on Rush. Is he gonna set it up for a teammate? Config is just right on top of them here. A little bit of a wallbang shot as they turn the corner, but Config will still win the fight. Now it's a 2-1-2. And they've had to relocate that AWP, but simple on low health coming in from this. How do you even check for Blame F here? He's gonna go for the spray, and Electronic will actually hit a good headshot. That's not bad at all. They know where Config is, jumping past him the first time around, and the Molotov is making it hard. A 10 second defuse, and Config is running it. Oh, he oh. catches him inside of the smoke. What a disgusting way to end it.